election been different. That would be nice. Uh, you wouldn't have the Ukrainian situation with Russia. You wouldn't have had. You would not have had an attack on Israel, which was so horrible. You uh, would not have had inflation. You wouldn't have China talking about Taiwan. You wouldn't have any of the problems that we have today. And you certainly had a, a broke Iran, and now you have a very rich Iran. Iran was broke when I left. They had no money to give to Hamas. They had no money to give to Hezbollah. And now they, were, now they have 200 billion. The world is in tremendous danger. We're in danger of possibly a World War III. I think the chaos we're seeing could result ultimately in some miscalculation somewhere. And that's what, how World War I started. Uh, I think that there were winds of, of indication uh, that led up to World War II. Obviously, we were all on the same side, the Australian United States, in those wars. So at this point, yeah, I think the chaos is real. Uh, we do have to understand that the, the Red Sea and uh, the Gulf of Aden is a real hotspot. Uh, the Europeans, for example, just today announced that they're going to have their own task force because they are, no longer trust the United States and the UK to provide support and protection going through the Red Sea, through the, the Suez Canal. So if you look at just all the different pieces at play, yeah, I think it's a, it's a very good possibility that something it's bad could happen. So uh, I, I'm a member of a group that actually examines this. There's uh, some efforts right now to look at that, Carl. I can tell you for a fact that uh, the people that, that President uh, uh, Trump would pick would be diametrically different than the folks in charge right now. For example, Victoria Coates talked the other day here on one of the media interviews I did. Victoria's part of the planning team that actually did the uh, Soleimani attack. It was well thought and executed much differently than what you would see through the Biden folks. So I'd like to believe that the relationships between us and our allies, such as the Australians, would be strengthened by the people that Trump would pick and come into office uh, should he win it this coming November. Why is there more leniency? So I think that the issues, Sarah, that I've seen is that the people that Trump pick tend to be a lot more lucid regarding the reality we face versus the aspirations of the administration. Okay. So much of what the Biden administration focuses on is what they hope to achieve rather than accepting things don't go their way and have to readjust. So that I think that's why you see the chaos. They don't accept the, the bad outcomes and they keep driving forward as if bad things didn't happen. I, I, I Look, I was one of the advisors of the last administration. Trump would never have accepted aspirations as policy.